Uh, Duncan, yes. should this have been one film? Should this have been more than one film? Because you're dealing with a, a lot of material. Um, I think I think whatever whatever amount of story we tried to tell in one film, um, establishing the world and the key characters was always going to be necessary. Um, and I think we've we've done that in a in a in a brave and successful manner. We're basically laying the you know laying the table for for what mm. this universe is. And obviously there is a huge crowd of people out there who know about it, but then there is an equally huge, probably much bigger crowd that don't know about it. So we kind of wanted to establish what Azeroth was, um, who these characters were, and what to expect in this, in this world. Mm. Would you be disappointed if I said I don't have a sense of what Azeroth is, how it fits together, where these cities are located, where these castles are, where the Orc encampment is? I, all I feel is that there were moments in a space, and I don't know how they all fit together. Um, well, I'm not really sure if I can give you an A to Z. No. Um, so I, I, I guess you have to tell me if it feels more like a place with a geography that you understand than Middle Earth does um, when you first saw Fellowship of the Ring. Um, Problem with that is that I come to Fellowship of the Ring and the Middle Earth and The Hobbit with those maps in the front of those books. Well, you're in very my fortunate. Mind. Well, you're, yeah. you're coming to. Fellowship of the Ring as a Tolkien reader. Mm. Uh, a lot of our audience is coming to Warcraft as Warcraft players. So I think there is an equivalence in that. Um, but you would probably agree that a lot of people who did see Lord of the Rings or F Fellowship of the Ring had never read Tolkien and enjoyed it just as much. Mm. I would argue that a lot of people who are coming to see Warcraft have never played Warcraft and will enjoy it just as much. Now, you said, uh, I think, a number of times that you played the RTS 20-odd years ago. Yes. That you've experienced the game in various stages. Yeah. Were you the right man to write the script, but the wrong man to make the film? Well, I don't believe, um, I don't believe that's the case. There was a pre-existing script, mm. so a Charles Levitt script. What I did was an aggressive polish with some structural changes in order to put more emphasis onto the Orc characters because I felt like to be true to what we all love of Warcraft, those of us who are fans of Warcraft, it wasn't, it wasn't correct to have the humans as the good guys and the creatures as the bad guys. That just isn't what Warcraft is. So that seemed like a, a necessary uh, change to make. Um, I felt comfortable making those changes. Okay, well, when it starts out, that RTS, it's got a backstory, which is something like, I don't know, the notes that I've got here this much. Yeah. By now it's like this. Yeah. Or it might actually be very many more books like this. Yeah. That is almost insurmountable, isn't it, in a film to get that amount of It would be insurmountable story. if I was trying to tell that book as a movie. Mm. But I'm not. I've taken an incredibly thin slice of mm. twenty years of storytelling. Essentially what we're telling is the story of the orcs who've left their home world because it's no longer a place that they can live and they travel through a portal and find themselves in a world of Azeroth that already has a pre-existing civilization. That's the entire breadth of our, of, our, of our time frame that we're telling our story about. It's essentially the portal opens, they come through, our humans stop the portal. That's, that's it, that's the whole story. And on the scale of storytelling of Warcraft, the 20 years of storytelling, it's a tiny, tiny slice of that. Yeah, the, the, the issue I have with Medivh as a character is that the, he's well, with spoiler territory, he's corrupted by something. We don't quite know how or what. Yeah. I don't think that was developed enough to be pulled through the story. I didn't feel like I knew why that character had gone from where he was to where he, where he ended up. There, are, there were a lot of very good characters in there and very sort of well-structured backstories. And I could feel the backstory pressing against the, the film, but I couldn't access it. Now, having recast the orcs as sort of more than just brute animals and with their own problems of the, you know, Gul'dan, the, the sorcerer and what he's doing to them and those, all those played out. If you'd concentrated, let's say, on the orcs and had the humans as just the good guys who were off, off camera, would, it, would you have been able to deliver a film that was more sort of coherent, had more of a sense of, of location, of place? Or would that have been sort of undercutting what Warcraft is doing, what the world of Warcraft does? I think it depends on how you uh, view the film in the first place. Um, we're fortunate in the fact that large numbers of fans have actually started to see the film and large numbers of people who aren't fans or familiar with Warcraft have started to see it. And they seem to get it and understand the simple side of it, which is that green magic is bad and green magic poisons you. Mm -hmm. And if you can accept that, and I think that is very easily and quickly communicated in the film, then you know that you know, anyone who's touched by the green mm -hmm. is going to be affected in a, in a way which is 
possibly corruptive or corrosive or dangerous to them. Mm. Um, obviously, we, we see that with Medivh. Mm. So Medivh is poisoned and, you know, that's a spoiler, but there you go. Okay, what are you happiest with for the film? What's the moment you take away from it? Um, I think that we've been able to deliver a film that works for two audiences, those who love Warcraft and know it and those who don't. And I think um, it's, a big, it's a big, fun, sprawling fantasy film. And um, I've, I've been reinforced in my belief that that's the case by the incredible feedback I've had from fans, um, both of Warcraft and those who don't know anything about it. Yeah, cool. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay. For your time. Oh, it's excellent. Thank you for your time. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, good.